Hello and welcome to another little video using the Artec Leo. Um, in our town nearby, very famous for a product called Lino, uh, there's a sculpture there that the council have commissioned with David Arnon and uh, it was an ideal way to be able to capture this and just show sort of the versatility of scanning outdoors. Uh, the lighting conditions are not that brilliant, there's quite a little bit of reflection. Um, as you can see, you need to sort of cover the areas that you're working with. Uh, we had a little visitor, well a pair of them actually, that came along to see if they could uh, help out. But they weren't a lot of use to us. Paying attention to the screen is really important. And keeping a good distance as you walk around uh, the park. You can tilt the screen so that you can actually see a little bit more of what you're doing when you're at different angles. And of course, just a little close up of the screen. So back to base, we need to load the files into our tech studio. Uh, what we've done already here is we've loaded the HD scans into the software. And because there's a lot of awkward parts to cover, um, it was a matter of having to get on the floor and try to get underneath it and crawl around on the ground a little bit. But what we can see is we've got all our scan, but there was one or two little pieces missing. Um, it's just unfortunate because working in the town, you can see that the software has auto filled them in, but it's not really a good shape to have. So we want to improve that. So. The next thing was to say, okay, we'll go back and make a little visit. Hopefully nobody's stolen it. So back in the town again, this time what we've actually done is we've turned off the optimized project size, which helps you capture more detail uh, without moving the scanner around too much. So we can also share it on other devices so you can screencast the screen. It's very simple. You set up the Leo hotspot and you connect your device to the Wi-Fi. Uh, here we just used a phone. And the nice thing is that if you are trying to crawl underneath something and you can't see the screen, you can use your phone or tablet to be able to see what you're doing. So it does what we call raycast streaming. Once you've got the object, done the missing sections, all we need to do is add them back into the software. So open up the main project. These are the pieces of interest that we wanted to do, the hand, uh, end of the tubes where we missed some bits so you can see we've covered those areas so what we did then was uh, merge them together into a new fusion and that fusion we can see now is that we've got really lovely crisp detail where the missing detail was especially like the hands they're all nicely done so you can actually take this now what I wanted to do is just uh, simplify the model a little bit just to show and get it down from quite a lot of million polygons down to something more manageable. Uh, here you can actually see that we had 35 million and now we're down to about 7 million, which is quite a nice thing to have for this model. Um, what we've done is within the object here, we've reduced it further and you can see that it's a very nice clean model. You can adjust the lighting in Artec Studio to suit your model if you want to. Um, we're just going to go through here and show you that to align this up to the uh, global workspace what we can do is you've got things like fitting cylinders it was very useful to do this because we wanted to actually just go in add the cylinders together constrain them so they're in line with each other and then we could use these to be able to reference the model to the XOYO plane so now we can actually uh, take some measurements. Here it was 1,193.9. Uh, the real dimension was one millimeter longer. So over four meters, that's pretty good. We can use the reference planes and the cylinders that we put in to quickly align it to the X, O, Y plane. Uh, the cylinder we can use to make it parallel to X. Uh, so it makes the model more manageable so that you can get the thing out a lot easier and uh, work with it knowing it's aligned to a reference plane ideal for 3d printing or some other forms of uh, work you might need to do 
We did add the texture because the scanner captures it, but because we went back several times in different daylight conditions, you can see that we haven't got a very uniform texture, although it's picked up all the graffiti as well. You can see the final model on our Sketchfab site. It's linked from our web page. Uh, so please do have a look. Use the model inspector on the bottom corner and enjoy. Thank you very much.